Welcome to the support videos for digital business automation video series. This video will show you how to send an email shout from a Control-M agent host. Typically, email shouts originate from the Control-M server host. However, at times it may be desirable to send email shouts from the Control-M agent host. The Control-M server may not have an email server, and firewall restrictions may prevent it from sending email through a different host. The Control-M agent might have an email server running on it, or it might just be in a subnet from which it's easier to send email. So how do we configure this? Or perhaps just we want to we just want to check the existing configuration. First we open the CCM, the Control M Configuration Manager. We select the server of interest, which I'll do here. We right click it. We click Shout Destination. The Shout Destinations Manager opens up. We see that we have one shout destination table. It is active and it's named system. We could add another one, but we don't need to. We can just open this one and add a new shout destination in it. So I double click it, it opens. We see some existing shout destinations. We click the plus sign to add a new one. So logical name is a name of my choosing. In this case, I'm just gonna call it mail agent two. Now for address, we need to choose, we see we have two choices, we need to choose agent or server for an email uh, shout destination that, that uh, comes from the agent, we need to pick agent. So for destination, for an email shout destination, uh, we need to pick mail. For the value, we need to give it a valid email address. I'm going to give it my own. Click OK. I can now uh, close the uh, list editor, close the shot destinations manager. My uh, new email shot destination is saved. So are we done? The answer is no. We need to uh, go to the agent host, which I'm going to do here. Now, if it was a Windows host, uh, I would need to invoke the utility CTM Win CFG. This is a Linux host, and I will invoke the utility CTM Unix CFG. I'm doing this, by the way, as the agent user. So in the menu, I pick number nine SMTP parameters. So for number one, the SMTP server relay name. Uh, if it were an external server, I would need to give it a resolvable name. Uh, whatever host I was going to be uh, using to actually send the emails that's running an email uh, server. In this case, I have an email server running on the local agent host, so I'm just going to tell it local host. And for port number, we will uh, leave it port 25. That's the uh, default email port. Uh, you usually wouldn't expect to have to change that. For the other items, we will give them uh, in names of our choosing. Uh, I'm going to do that now. Giving it a sender email value, a sender friendly name. It will show up. And the reply to value. So now we have configured our SMTP parameters so that uh, emails can be sent. We do R to return the pre to the main menu. We do S to save our configuration. Now we can quit the menu. At this point, we have both uh, configured our email shot destination and we've configured the SMTP parameters on the agent host through which the email shouts will come. And we can now use our new email shot destination. That concludes this Control-M Solutions video. On the BMC software Control-M YouTube channel, you can find many more videos like this one.